Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with another video for the channel. And today I figured we'd just start something called Mod Mondays. This just gives me something to kind of look forward to, to record and mess with. And today I found a game. I don't know why it dropped me all the way down. I found a game called Cyberline Racing, which was last updated in 2017 from Creative Mobile. It looks like it's a racing game, but like if you've ever seen the movie Death Race, it's a death race moving uh racing game um and i wanted to mess with it a little bit because it's a little bit older and i discovered that it still has the dll files rather than il to cpp and you don't get to see modding of the dll files very often anymore because games aren't made with them anymore so let's dig through cyberline racing see if the game even still works and uh give it a whirl so i have dn spy already open i have the game already extracted uh, using um, what you call it, seven zip. So we're gonna open up the assembly C sharp dot DLL. Ooh, WW. What is WW? Nothing. CR debug. Ooh, how do I enable debugging? What in the colors? Oh, for like uh debug stuff. Okay, there's nothing in there. Debugger. Excellent job there, uh, <laughs> Creative Mobile. Okay, well, let's take a look. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in the root. There's the animation tween. There's some stuff here. Uh, yeah, it looks like your standard TM Pro. So, yeah, it looks like your standard Unity game. So let's give it a dig through. The first thing I always like to look for is, yeah, I like to kind of go in alphabetical order of the functions, but to make my life easy, I like to scroll all the way down into the P's to look for player. If player isn't there, I usually look for user. So there is a player function. Let's see what it is. Uh, it's just collision, collision. You can mess with, oh, there's keyboard controls, WSAD. So you can play on a keyboard if you're uh, interesting. Forward speed, side speed. So how much you would hit somebody, that could be a lot of fun to screw around with. Player fallback pop-up. Nothing special there. Player level. Uh, not much to write home about here. I mean, you can edit your level, I guess. It's not a huge deal though. I want to find like average. Oh, these are like player statistics. This is cool. Uh, weapons, total laps, track ID. That's your favorite, it looks like. Pretty cool. So I wonder how you unlock stuff then. Pre race animation, price view, set price. That's like a string. Interesting that it is set that way so what we can see here is we can just search the function set price and see where it's all used so store item data this means we can already make stuff basically oh uh, well here you go free most popular and best value that's uh setting it up Let's see set price is also available here Item price from Google. Okay. Interesting. String, real price, and fake price. Set icon, set buyability. So this looks like the function to edit if you want to be able to do anything. Cool, cool, cool. That's more setting prices. That doesn't look like it's anything I could actually mess with. Um, I'm going to dig around a little bit. When I find something interesting, I'll start recording again. So they did leave their debug code in here. So this is under achievement testing. You can actually go in and just... There's a secret key, a service API secret key. What is said secret key, sir? I would like to know. Oh, it's probably in here. So database, 
wow, they just did everything local. This is terrible. Where's your secret key, sir? That's all I want. I want your secret key. API key is negative one. That's it? Oh, you can change like username and oh that's probably username for the database. Oh, this is such poor programming. Session ID, username info, reward name is SSL. Secret key. Shepherd secret. Okay, but what is it? Where does it set what that key is? That's what I want to know. I don't see it anywhere else. I wonder what this max five is. App name release app. Okay. Ooh, app ID. Okay. Or ID object database name. This has got to be somewhere. Shepherd's secret has to be somewhere. Cyberline.json. Where is that file? Is that in the APK? I feel like I didn't see it. Streaming persistent get path Cyberline. It's not here. Not here, unless it's counting the player config file, but that's not it. I wonder what this is. Interesting. What that is. Anyway. It's not here. I wonder if it's in the OBB data. So here we are with the OBB. So it's Cyberline Local. This isn't quite the right name, but it's similar. Oh boy. Uh, what was it? Shepherd. Oh my God, no. Give me DN spy so I can copy paste. Jesus Christ. Huh, it's not in here. Let's look through the OBB some more. Do it by name. Oh, Cyberline Local. Yeah, it just wasn't organizing by name. So it should be in here, that secret key. There it is. It's just MD5? Is that all that is? What is that? I think that's just MD5. Well, it's not MD5. It's probably SHA-256 or something like that. But there's a lot of stuff in here we can mess with. And that's going to be some fun stuff in and of itself. Video files, that's interesting. But there's, you know, AI, there's difficulty. I bet we can mess with nearly all of this. Uh, default player settings, the economy, globals, items. It looks like messing with the APK is almost the wrong way to go about it. And, like, I would rather mess with this, honestly. Like, what's AI 2? I don't know. It's the AI. <laughs> FG cheat distance. Uh, <laughs> so the AI cheats, you're telling me. So this is okay, then. <laughs> Uh, let's see, boosters, texts, default player settings. Username, eraser. <laughs> We're going to change it. Tech, X. A uh, bunch of stuff. Rating, league, receipts, email, medals, credits. So, I mean, it looks like... You could have some fun in here. For sure. Huh. So. 
Sure, we'll save that, I guess. I don't know. Um, globals are always fun. Let's see what the biggest file is. Revenge 2. Text, local, seasons, quality presets, items. Physics, economy, items. Where's cars? Interesting. Uh, let's look at items real quick because there's just a lot to this game and it looks like what we want to modify isn't even in the APK. Yeah, here's the cars. I'm, no, this is an item, which maybe the items are the cars. I don't know. I don't know what any of these variables stand for yet either. This is a lot of numbers. <laughs> Oh man, modding this would be hard, would be both enjoyable and annoying. Um Let's just look at boosters. Cuz it's a smaller file, so boosters zero damage. No booster. Booster nitro. So there are different boosters and it looks like yeah. You can modify this to like create the perfect booster. Very interesting. That could be a ton of fun. Just create the perfect booster. You know, it has shield regen of like. Let's just do it. 666. Uh, it has the nitro of 666. It has the health of 666. Yeah. And let's put that back in the OBB. Why not? There we go. I'm still going to dig around the APK because that's more kind of the point here. Um, <laughs> but that really looked like unlock all revenges. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Unlock after time. Huh. Make something just unlock immediately, I guess. Upgrade class car info, update car info. It's so weird to look at the C sharp again of a game because it's been so long since I've done this. So if I add a hotkey to this code, that's all I need, and I can actually get this menu to pop up. Oh my god, there's so much to this. Holy cow, there is so much to this. I need to relearn how to do Unity 3D DLL menu and see how to add a hotkey to this because I forget, and I know you can, so I could make this menu pop up. So me forgetting it was a mobile game, I had to make it a floating button. We're going to see if this works. Uh, I don't know if it's going to, but we're going to save module. Uh, I always save it as like two, just so it doesn't break anything. Um, we're going to go back to here. A lot of junk. I don't like building up junk like I did here by mistake. So we're going to cyber line odd. There we go. Oops. Forgot we need less than seven zip. DLL. Dot uh, OG is like the what I usually do once I have at least one made. And we'll put this in the correct folder. And just throw this in here. There we go. And now I need to push the APK to my phone, which I think I already still have open. Yes. I'll just put this here. I think I need to manually put in the OBB file. So we're going to go obb new main dot one zero three one zero one 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 three one dot com dot cmta dot cyber line racing. Or it might actually just be. Yeah, it's just this. My bad. Idiot moment. And then. Do we just put it in there I don't have anything with a OBB file I just realized so I don't know oh no where did it go 
Uh, modified. <laughs> there it is. We're going to put this here and just see what happens. I'm going to rebuild the APK real quick. Ever on rebuild. There we go. I'll be back in a minute. So now we found out if I did anything right. Okay. I know it's made for an older Android. I don't think this is going to pop up at all. The whole loading button thing. I also don't think I put the OBB files in the right place because it's not starting. It's not doing anything. Yeah, this isn't doing anything. So the OBB file is not in the right place. Let me find out where it goes. So like I said in a previous video, I'm very happy that Android has third-party app stores because I can still download this through TapTap. -tap. Can't download it through the Play Store. Hmm. So I was reading some reviews on other app store locations, and it sounds like since because there's no server, this game doesn't even launch. So this has just turned into a mission of save the game, see if we can get it to launch. So now I need to find something like an HTTP connection and potentially just save this game's butt. It's kind of my thing here now, it feels like. So how do we get this game to launch? That's the question of the hour here. They use Google.com to see if the game can make a connection to the internet. Interesting. So I've done a little bit of digging. It looks like the game was actually made by a company called Magic Indie Softworks. So it looks like the company went out of business in 2019. Or maybe they got absorbed by a different company. Who knows? Uh, or maybe, yeah, it looks like it was about 2019 or 2020, because this is about where their stuff starts to stop. Um, the game hasn't been on the App Store since, like, 2022, it looks like, maybe. But, uh, yeah, it looks like it didn't even have an update since something like 2016 or 2017, though. So this game might be dead in the water unless we are able to find a way to emulate these old... API calls and make it think that uh, we can get into it. So I guess the only thing we can really do here is turn this into an operation of trying to save an old game and make it work. But anybody with an Android 14 device that their device ships with Android 14, it's the same as iPhone. Supposedly you can no longer play 32-bit applications or games on your Android device. So, for example, the Google Pixel 8 and 8 Pro shipped with Android 14. That means they cannot play 32-bit application games, supposedly. I'm going to double-check my research, and maybe I'll leave a comment in the description, but that's what I've been told, and that's what my research has told me. So, even if we did get this working, there's going to be a handful of people with brand-new phones that can't play this. So... I'll pay attention. Maybe I'll keep working on it. But for now, this is about where this video ends. If you guys want a sequel to this video, let me know in the comments down below if you made it this far. And we'll go from there. So this kind of turned into this change from a modding game, a modding video, to a save the life of the game video. And I'd really like to see if we can at least get into the game and actually play it to see what it was like. Because it seems like right now there's no way to launch this game. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's double check the emulator. Yeah, still a black screen. So we got to figure out why. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.